more work. Mr. Responsibility. Indeed. Uh, okay, so I've seen about some things. Okay. I'll make a concise um, highlight post upload after this upload. Okay. So I've seen about some things. Okay. Uh, my Halloween reprise profile in Facebook. Yeah, it, um, it's sort of concise. Sort of. Like, it would probably only take most people a day or two to read it. Like, they're, they're going to read, like, here and there, okay, a little bit at a time. Probably, yeah, and, like, um, a moderately uh, avid reader. Somebody likes to sit and read a novel, sort of avid readers. Yeah, there are those people. Ah. Yeah, they're all right. We like them. Okay. And a moderately avid reader would probably be able to read through it all in like a day or two. All right. Really sort of concise. More like a pamphlet or something like of a profile of mine. It took me a week to sort of, and it's sort of concise. Okay. And about a week and a little bit longer than yeah and take them about a day or two to read it <laughs> okay and like some of it's really sort of in-depth um uh phrases and and crafty like i wrote it though and they're reading it like so they'll want to like go back like for the course of a couple of weeks and reading this and that and then it's really interesting they're thinking about something and then huh Okay, so the Jack in the Box thing, that was like that about the, the Halloween column there at the top. Like, huh? Um, was that it? Uh, well, yeah, like Jason mentioned Akina and, 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 and like, like Mother of the Monsters sort of thing. Is, is it the thing? Uh, really? That's it? Jason's sort of crafty. Ah. Ah, ah, look at, look at, look at here, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> maybe, okay, though, maybe he's just being humorous and sort of cool in a, in a joking, rising sort of way, though, it was really interesting, the whole thing, okay, yeah, and monsters and aspects, side effect sort of thing, other people's pers perspectives and perceptions of you, and it's really interesting, okay, though, what, what else? So, um, I noticed some things. Uh, oh, really? What did, what did you notice? Okay. And these couple of people talking. Like, I noticed some things. What, what, did, what did you notice? Well, Jason came up with a few different designs for that um, electricity machine. Yeah, yeah. They were, they were, and he starts like to explain with like zero knowledge base about electricity, right? Like. And like right there with them, like, okay, and he suggests concisely so that people can think about it and get a perspective. And there was a point about that, I noticed. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Okay, and so, well, hmm. uh, I've, I've, I've actually read Jason quite a lot. And it, I mean, I've thought about some of those things, though I have sort of like a photographic memory, okay? And I, uh, I remember I noticed that Jason mentioned that the DOD, he mentioned his his Zeus power machine to the DOD, right? Uh-huh, yeah. He's, he, did he imply that or something? I, 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 yeah, like, I remember something about that, yeah. Okay, well... I'm aware that Jason mentioned that to the DOD in Twitter for the first time. In particular, Twitter profile's got a big snake at the top. You know that? Really? Uh, no. And what about it? Well, <laughs> did you notice that they said that November 13th of 2022, there's that America is out of diesel fuel? What? Diesel fuel? 
America's out of diesel fuel. And that's it. That was the big announcement. No. Are you serious? I didn't notice that. Yeah, well, Jason's not the only really intelligent writer out there. Not actually. There are others as well, though. Jason's really interesting. Mm hmm And, well, I noticed that when Jason mentioned this to the DOD, he was, he was talking about, like, using these... It was about gear ratios, okay? The DOD figured it out. Like, they clued in because he was talking about gear ratios. Like, the push mower that doesn't have the motor on it, the old push mower, it uses gears, and it, like, turns the blade really quick, like, while you're pushing it through the grass at a normal speed. You see? Okay, right? And so then they came up with something and patented it, and Jason noticed, and just sort of mentioned it in passing. Right, okay. Turning the... Turning the... The, the what? Well, he mentioned, yeah, okay, it's about gear ratios, and he mentioned turning the flywheel. The flywheel? Okay, Billy Joe, what, what, what else? <laughs> well, are you aware of what a flywheel is? Not really, no. What, are you going to tell me? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, what do you what do you think of like what do you think I'm talking about? I'm guessing it's not like a hamster cage for flies, sort of a wheel. <laughs> no, no, that's not a flywheel. No. A flywheel is um is attached to the motor of an automobile. Okay. And it connects to the uh, transmission of the automobile. Oh, okay. And so you think that maybe the DOD will come up with something about this um, shortage? Is this a shortage or are we out of diesel fuel? I think they said that America is out of diesel fuel on November 13th of 2022. That's what somebody said to me. I haven't, like, I've just been sort of, I had it on the side, like, Really, that's sort of, really, really, really sort of quick. I mean, I'm just thinking about things. I was reading Jason and like, I mean, just thinking about things, so, okay? Out of diesel fuel? Mm -hmm. you, you realize that it's going to have some consequences, like all of a sudden out of diesel fuel? Uh huh. Are they punishing everybody? I, I, I'm, I'm okay. Well, yeah, I'm not totally certain. Not actually, like, why can't they just make some more? Or why? Because I'm, uh, I'm aware of some things. And I'm, I'm looking into some things. Like, why can't they just make some more? And are they? I mean, they're not gonna like. We're not gonna be running pl plutonium in our automobiles. Not actually, right? Oh, I, I, I really hope not. No. I mean, that just that doesn't seem ecologically friendly or safe or, like, smart idea, like, good idea, bad idea. No, no, not, not, not on the plutonium, no. And so, out of diesel fuel. Uh, out. And finish. Are, are they going to make laws to, like, I mean, so you're saying that they can make diesel fuel with automobile fuel things? think that they can make either of the two and maybe they can like turn the automobile fuel back into diesel fuel if they really have like that much automobile fuel amidst all of those people okay so like that's maybe why they're gonna like freak everybody out and put a hurt on everybody like we're out of diesel fuel sorry everybody <laughs> oh oh okay so then they'll like pass laws like you all have to carpool or ride the bus. Maybe, maybe something like that would be maybe even really smart and friendly. It, it could be, huh? Okay, though you were looking at Jason Hughes. You're getting at something, right? Turning the flywheel? Right. Okay, so they had that conversation. Hypothetically. All right, they're... A couple of smart people out there. Can you believe that? Wow. All right. They do exist. And so, 
Yeah, and they had that conversation, though the point really is, all right, physics people would tell you left and right, back and forth, upside down, and in any fucking way, really flat out, okay? You, you can't turn a generator with an electric motor and get electrical electricity output. You, you, you just can't, okay? There's just this, this formula, and it's just, no which they're really absolutely wrong about. All right. <sighs> so, all right, I just wanted to make this point. Like, what if you took an electric motor or two or three electric motors all connected together, you smart, engineer-minded people? Okay, two or three electric motors even, because you, you're going to make, would that increase torque? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would increase torque. And having numerous motors, turning a generator that fuels the electric motors. Uh -huh. And right gear ratios and things in that, in, in this case, in a case, in, in a case, okay, a case is sort of, it, it looks like, um, it maybe looks like a sculpt object for uh, like a, an automobile in a virtual world or something. It's just like really sort of smoothed out. There's not all the details and things. Blah. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. And it looks like, yeah, I mean like it's this smoothed out sculpt model, like sculpted object with like a, a, an aluminum texture on it. Okay, it's just like, though, and it goes in the, in the car, goes in the car and then car goes. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right, looks like that, all right, really goes in the car and makes car go. Yeah, okay, so, though inside of it, it's got like these two or three, maybe, maybe four, it depends on, on and we need torque. What is formula for torque? Nobody knows yet, nope, nobody has accurate formula for torque yet, nope, I, I've looked it up. They, they not, they not figure that out yet, no. Though, there, there is formula that it would plausibly bind torque. Probably. Though, there are some smart people out there as well. There, there really are. They do exist. Yes, they do. Okay. That's part of the point. All right. Okay. Like three electric motors, maybe. Maybe five or something. Make it all symmetric. Sort of symmetric. And like one, two, three, four, five. And then generator, they connect to a generator that fuels all the electric motors. And we're, they're all connected together with all these gears and la la la. We're making speed. Okay. Well, we're producing speed out of the turning of the motor at the flywheel. You see what I'm saying? At the flywheel. All right. We're producing torque as well. We need torque. Big, big, big vehicles. We need torque. A lot of gears, 18 gears, so we need torque for all of that. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. So, hmm. maybe something sort of interesting to consider. Maybe sort of interesting, though. So it's sort of sort of interesting, though. We, we, we might be able to work with that. Sort of cool.